men killed while trying to attack a controversial art contest near Dallas have been identified. As Adriana Diaz reports, investigators are now trying to figure out what motivated the men who lived together in Arizona. FBI agents removed the bodies of two gunmen killed outside the Curtis Colwell Center during a contest for the best drawing of the Prophet Muhammad. Authorities say a Garland, Texas police officer, normally assigned to traffic duty, used his service revolver to take down the two men firing assault rifles. Under the fire that uh, he was put under, he did a very good job. The FBI says the gunmen were Nadir Sufi and Elton Simpson. Simpson was convicted in 2011 for lying to FBI agents over his desire to join a jihadist group in Somalia. Their strategy was to get to the event center, into the event center, and they were not able to get past that outer perimeter. Local police and the FBI spent months planning security for Sunday night's controversial show. A free speech organization held the event at the same venue where a pro-Islamic conference took place earlier this year. Pamela Geller organized Sunday's event. She's the president of the American Freedom Initiative. This incident proves just how violent the war is on freedom. And it's here. It's not just Paris and Copenhagen. It's here. The war is here. A spokesman for an Islamic organization in the U.S. said the show was an attempt to bait the Muslim community. Police detonated several items in the gunman's car as a precaution, but found no explosives. Adriana Diaz, CBS News, Garland, Texas.